Alright, this video is going to be on my cages and what I have all set up here. Uh, and a samurai sword that's right up there. Mm, it's kind of cool. Um, let's see. Alright, so right here we have a 40 gallon tank. This is where Bali stays. We have one hide here. This is one hide. That's the warm side. And back there, this is the cool side. You can see him hiding in there because it's about 103 degrees and 2% uh, humidity. So that's really fun. You can't really see that all too well there. This camera doesn't like to focus at all. But um, I just misted it down. So inside of these cages, it's probably about 80 to 90% humidity. I, I got the bedding, just uh, the bottom of it, just kind of, kind of wet, and I got these this wood wet. This wood, you can see it's a little bit wet there, and that's actually really good because when that starts evaporating, then it re releases humidity into the cage. And I have this all covered up by a towel, and then over here, I have, um, I can show you, this is a uh, tin foil, and then just a wet towel. It's cold. It's really hot over here. It's just unbearable for these poor guys. And, uh, this is just, the tin foil is just for general, like, when it's not too, uh, hot, and then I'll keep, like, a normal, not a wet towel, but just, like, a normal towel there. And this is, this stays on here permanently, it's duct taped on. See that. Alright, now I have the same thing for my other animals here and here on both their cages. This one's Cypher's cage. Hi, Ziggy. Say hello. This is her cage, I haven't shown any video of this yet. But we really need to clean it out. She's spilled all her bowls over. And uh, I have like one bowl there and another bowl over here. It's like two different things, two different choices for food. Water bowl there. And some blue thing. I forget what it's for. Um, and now we have my, my white tree frog. He's in here right now. This is what we have have him in uh, usual, uh, for um, for just whenever I'm cleaning so I'll have a video of, of his cage when he's done. Here he is. He's still a little baby. He's eating crickets and then I have him in this bedding and yeah. So there's my whites. Just this thing. And this also keeps him in great humidity too. And it's it's small just for for temporary, but during like I said when we're cleaning and also when um, it's really hot like this and dry, I can't I mean I can't control the temperatures as well. And in, in his one cage, it's almost impossible to do. All right, so I'll show you what we got going in Sniper's cage. He just shed last night. He's got warm side hide, cool side right behind the water bowl. Or in front of it, sorry. And uh, here's his um, little stick thing that he hangs on. I just misted it, so it's about, like I said, 80 to 90%. I'll go ahead and just look at Iggy here. Hey, right, close up. Hey, girly. <laughs> oh, she's trying to get out. I actually probably will let her out here. That'll be interesting, the video aspect. And off goes the duct tape, okay? Alright, now, I'm going out now. What we got here is uh, the albino's cage. You guys have seen her. Same thing up here, too. Towel, tin foil. I highly suggest this in the hot, dry months. Cool them off a little bit. That sort of thing. Okay, and we got a water bowl. And this cool little thing. Uh, like four branches, and then under, it, it, you can go underneath. He, she can go underneath it. She can actually hide under that too. Warm side, and then we have a deer antler. My grandpa shot this deer, and we ate it. And then he cut off the horn, and we uh, boiled it, and it actually made a perfect cave ornament. Cool, cool, cool sides back there. You can see her little yellow belly in there. Sorry, it's so blurry. It's just we got. This is all. All misted. And here's my iguana coming right towards me. I think she's gonna lay eggs soon. She uh, 
she's laid eggs before. She doesn't have a male, but uh, as long as a lot of the time laying for her eggs, she uh, she's gonna she kind of gets snippy about things, and she sees herself in the mirror and let's see what she does here. Yep, nope. There's my eggy. Female iguana, she's really territorial. She does her head bob and everything. Oh, she's trying to eat the mirror now. Got two stickers on the bottom there. She thinks that those are food all the time. Oh, okay. You want to be feisty now, do you? Okay, well, there's nowhere to go back there, hon. That's my iguana playing around. And, uh, what else can I talk about? Okay, well, here, this is a sniper's shed last night. This is a tall piece. It broke into a few pieces, but I thought that, that was kind of cool how it's got his, like, mouth here. Everything. Tongs, everything else. Sheds. Here's previous sheds. I hang them up just for, like, a record sort of thing. Yeah. So, this is just my room, too. I only have three snakes currently an iguana, a frog, and a res. That ear slash Cheryl. He's in the other room, though, and I'm not going to go over there. Yes. Woodward, best skate camp on the planet. Super sick. Um, Here's my door. Big skateboarder. Tony Hawk. Skateboard up there. I'm not really a fan of Tony Hawk, but when Tony dies, that skateboard's going to be worth a lot. Signed by him, never ridden before. Planning on selling that on eBay. So any interested people in that would, would be a pretty cool thing to buy. I think that that thing sells for like 350 maybe more. I don't know. That's pretty cool. So yeah, this is my room. Iguana cage, snake, 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 frogs holding cage, and uh, my scale. This thing is a uh, handy dandy. I sort of measure everything. So yeah. All right, this is my room. My iguana chilling, and Eddie Aq. Etc. Alright, I heard him out.